Hi. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited that you have decided to be with me today because you can be doing a thousand other things and you are choosing to watch this video and that just makes me feel oh, so special. Also, I'm wearing my pajamas from the bottom down, so glad you can only see this part of me. Today's video is going to be more office DIYs. I already posted one. Um, it is for a photo display and I know it's, I said it's for the office, but you can totally toss that in a bedroom or living room or wherever. It's so cute. Um, I just put it in my office because I was looking for some dec decor ideas for my office. Um, and then I have two more to show you and I'm going to be showing them to you both today and they are going to be a clipboard photo print thing. So it's just a decorated clipboard and then I just put a print on top of it and you guys could use the clipboard if you wanted or whatever. And so that's going to have glitter and stuff on it. And then the other one is a macrame hanger, wall hanger, waller. I don't know. Anyways, it's basically just made out of yarn and I saw it because a friend of mine made it for my sister and so I saw it in my sister's house and I saw it in my friend's house and I was like, that's super cute and she's like, it's so easy to make and she kind of taught me and I was like, wow, I'm going to make them. So I not only have one in my office but I also hung one up in my living room because I think they are so cute and they are so easy to make and that's basically my story. Okay, this is seriously the easiest DIY in the entire world. First of all, you're going to need a clipboard. I was making two of these, so I have two clipboards. I picked them up at Staples. I have the prints that I'm going to be hanging on my clipboards. You could either just use the clipboards as regular clipboards, or you could hang these on the wall like I am doing. And I just took um, some watercolor photos that I found online and just put some quotes over top of it. Then you're going to need either a craft paint or spray paint. I just like the look of spray paint better. It doesn't turn out as streaky and it just comes on a lot smoother and just looks a lot nicer. Then you'll need some glue. I was using a spray adhesive that I found at the dollar store and it worked really, really well, but you could just use regular glue as well. And then you're going to need your glitter as well. Alright, so the first thing that you're going to need to do is spray paint these clipboards. Um, if you don't have spray paint, you're more than welcome to use the craft paint. I just like the look of spray paint better. So I let my clipboards dry for a full day before I started working with them because I didn't want to wear the paint off. After they were all dry, the first thing I did was I wanted to cover up the clipboard so that it did not get glitter all over. So as you can see, I took some paper, cut it up, and I just covered up all the areas except for the metal clasp at the top of the clipboard. Then you're just going to want to do the exact same process to the other clipboard, cutting up some paper, covering the entire clipboard. You probably don't have to cover the very bottom of the clipboard, but I did because I didn't want uh, to risk getting glitter or glue anywhere else on the clipboard except for that metal clasp. Okay, so now you're going to want to take your glue. I used a spray adhesive that I found at the dollar store and this was my first time working with this so I wasn't actually sure if it would work but I found this worked amazingly and it was probably the best, least messy way to make this project. So I just shook it up, followed the instructions on the can. Uh, as you can see, I needed to find some good music, so I turned on some Ariana Grande and got my groove on, and then I just sprayed the top of the clipboards with that spray adhesive. After they had been sprayed with glue, I just took the glitter and sprinkled that all over the metal clasp. Uh, I didn't really care if there was extras everywhere, I just wanted to make sure it was fully covered. Then I did the exact same thing to the other clipboard, sprayed it, and sprinkled it it with glitter and then I just let that sit for about 15 minutes. After it had dried for 15 minutes I just tapped off the extras so I just picked it up, shook it off and tapped it on the ground a bit just to make any loose glitter fall off. I then sprayed a second coat of that adhesive. I wanted to see one if I could seal it and two I wanted to make sure I filled in all the extra. However once I sprayed it with the glue I realized that it took the metallic out of the sparkles. It just made it all flat. So I just re-sprinkled another layer on which helped fill in any of the gaps and then I repeated this on the other clipboard as well. So I let that dry for a couple hours. I just got ready for my day and did some stuff and then once it was dry I just tapped off all the extras again like I had earlier just picked it up tapped it on the ground and shook off the extras 
After I had tapped off the extras, I just removed the paper and as you can see, it left a nice crisp edge of the glitter just on the clasp and the clipboard all white. Um, however, when I was tapping it off, some of the stuff I didn't tap off well enough, so it did get some glitter underneath, and as you know, glitter sticks to everything, so it took a little bit to clean that up. However, that's about it. This was an easy project that, uh, I really like, and I just added a piece of art to it so that I could hang it on my wall, and it just is a nice piece to my office. So for this DIY, you need literally only two things, and the first is yarn. Now, I picked a thicker yarn. I didn't want a thin yarn. I wanted like a nice chunky kind, and I just pre-cut a piece off because I'm going to hang the dowel with it. And then the other thing you need is a wooden dowel, and I just picked this up at my hardware store. Okay, so first of all, I took my dowel. I put a pin in the wall just so I could hang the dowel off of it. And I'm just going to tie the string onto both ends of the dowel and then hang it off the pin. Okay, so now I'm just going to cut one piece of string and I made it the length that I wanted my macrame. I tried to make them all the same length. I wanted it all to be the longest length and then I would just trim it down to angle the sides. But I wanted to start with all of them at the same so then I didn't have to worry about measuring out each one. Um, and so I cut one and then I just started cutting the strings to match. So as you can see, I'm just cutting it down and making them all the same length. Now it's really important here to note that I am doubling over the yarn. So I don't just cut the length one way, but it has to be folded in half. So that way when I go to tie it onto the dowel, that you have two pieces of string that are the equal length, if that makes sense. But you can see I'm just folding the yarn in half so that it's one piece of string, but it's folded in half. You know what I'm saying? Now you need quite a bit of yarn to make this. The one that I made in my office is a bit larger, so I actually used an entire roll of yarn. Uh, the one that I'm making in this video, which is in my living room, is not as big, so I only used maybe three quarters of the ball of yarn, but you do need quite a bit of yarn to make this project. So once all your yarn is cut, you're ready to assemble it. So you're going to go back to where your dowel is hanging on the wall, or you could have it sitting on your bed. I just find this the easiest way. I did try making it with it sitting on my bed, and I just found it was really, really hard because the dowel kept moving around, and this just keeps it in one spot, and you can kind of see how everything's falling into place. Now the way you assemble it is honestly so easy. All you do is you take this string, you loop it over the top of it, and then you thread the two pieces of yarn through that loop and then you just pull it tight. Now I just thought I would show you on a different angle just to make sure that you guys were able to know what you do. So you just fold that over, pull the strings through the loop and pull it tight and there you go. It's so quick, it's so easy and then you just do that over and over and over again for all the pieces of yarn until it's as wide as you want it to be and you're satisfied with it and that's it so i'm just going to do that with all of the pieces of yarn and you'll get to see me do that now you may just need to adjust the height of the dowel because i found as i'm putting the strings on the weight is all on the one side, so I just would have to untie the dowel and retie it so that it was kind of balancing it out. And then once it's all done, I just slid the string over to where I wanted it. I didn't want it as wide as this dowel was, so I just moved it over. And then I got Kyle to cut the end of the dowel off for me because I wasn't quite strong enough to get that handsaw through it. Okay, so the final piece is I just need to make the bottom the way that I want it to be. Obviously, I did not do a very good job of cutting these as even as I had hoped, but that's okay. So I'm just going to even it out as much as I can because I want to have a straight bottom just so I can kind of angle the two sides out, and I want it to be angled fairly similar to the same. Now I will just warn you that it is really easy to just keep cutting because you're like this isn't perfectly even or whatever or I found that and I just wanted to keep trimming and keep trimming and keep trimming but you need to stop because otherwise you're going to cut the whole thing down. Part of the beauty of this is that it isn't perfect. I hope you guys
guys liked it. Uh, I hope that you guys try some of these out because I had so much fun making them and now when I go into my office and I see my decor on my wall, I just, I honestly am just so proud of how everything turned out. I think it looks awesome. I'm still working on the layout of my wall because I'm not quite happy with it. Um, I think I'm going to add a couple extra frames on the wall and just kind of make it a bit of a gallery wall or something like that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to continue to build my office decor, but these are the three DIY projects that I worked on and I hope you guys love them because they were so fun and so easy and honestly, like anybody can make them. You don't have to be super artsy or anything. They are just so simple. And like I said at the beginning, you can definitely put them in like your office or your room or somewhere else in your house, whatever. Like they're so easy, they're so versatile and they are so cute. Um, and I think that's everything. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, just hit that red button that says subscribe. And that would just mean so much to me. I love you guys so much and I will see you all in our next video.